Quince your thirst at the sports drink. Mississippi State will take over. Stuart Molinar, Tolu Smith, and Abdu. It's Derek Fountain who has really made a name for himself, especially since his first start in February. He gets more playing time. And looks like they're going to keep. They were the starting five. And Fountain, the freshman out of Holly Springs, Mississippi, has been outstanding. In fact, has had a couple of games in which he's been towards the 20 point mark. Shot good and a foul. Mississippi State. Molinar's can get his own look. That ball deep. Jackson with a block and a run out for Kentucky. Jackson's got his hand up. They don't see him. And Mintz will launch a three. He buries it. He's in your last ball game. You're seeing a big rim early for Davion Mintz. Coffin and Mintz each with one foul for Kentucky. And they go inside again. There's Jackson with that left causing problems. Good. I could. You set the high screen that frees up that big range two and it won't fall for Tolu Smith. Mintz tries a blow yeah. by, gets in and makes the layup. Good, quick, explosive move by Mintz. Mintz has all five. This is a series that's been dominated by Kentucky. Mississippi State hasn't beaten them since 2000 and not also into the game. It is Lance Ware, 55 for Kentucky. Stretch the defense yeah. and a good cut. Clean guys up for those rim cuts. Lance Ware, nice hard move, and he had an easy layup, and it went around and out. Right by Askew, and an easy layup there. Nothing off the pin down the curls. He's missed open threes. Mintz is the only guy right now seeing a good rim for Big Blue. Austin currently 0 for 4 from the floor. DJ Stewart, when they shifted him to point guard, it's a big change for Ben Howland's team. Quentin Post 32 stands at the three yeah. point line. Is that? Ravi Terrence Clark, I've seen sitting there at the scores table, ready to check in. We'll get his first game action since December the 26th. A physical athletic guard that can get downhill. Getting ready to come in. This is a lot like the season. It's a question mark. Terrence Clark with 13 11. Gets it to Saar, working one-on-one -on -one against Post. Inside, left hand, no good. There on the offensive glass, Jackson's deflection keeps it alive. As Clark finds a well three-point shooter, and that's a big start. He's, open. He's gonna ride a hot hand if it's in the game. And Clark, clearly a good point guard as far as his ability to create and find the open man, presents another positive aspect for Calipari. Not to mention his size, Jimmy, his ability to rebound at 6-7. Yeah, just Jackson decided not to set the rules of how this game is going to be played. He really did in the first four or five minutes. We are going to pound, pound, pound the ball inside. Can Kentucky hold up? Wow. What a move. I think he'll be a lottery pick. I think he'll have a long-term NBA career because he absolutely gets it in terms of the energy, the effort. Just the running and jumping plays he excels in. All turnovers today. And the fight thing will be determined over the course of the end of this half and of course the second half. Was that a shot clock violation? You heard the buzzer didn't get any iron. Each guy 0 for 4. Got him again. Yep. Try to get it inside. A dude right over Jackson. Deion Brooks, his left hand shot, no good. He ends up on the floor. Mississippi State ends up with the rebound. Jackson got beat on the baseline. He gets the foul. 19 points that have been scored from the field have get 19. 19 11 midway through the first in a must win game for coach if you're thinking about the NCAA tournament. Saw over four, one for. Catch it, shoot it, let it fly. He's one of the best three-point shooters on the year. And now it's Saar on a do. Wow. Oh, look out, Abdu. Big. Just a quiet warrior for Mississippi State. 
Another push. Allen off. Yep, yeah, that's going to be on Saar with a push off. Seven, eighty-eight, eighty-nine. They started one and six. If they have any hope, he's over four from the floor. Allen the dish to where? No foul. He, Keon Brooks follow. Arias had to do this late in the season, and that hardly dismisses his coaching every other year. Absolutely. Yeah, he woke, he woke up today, not sure where his offense was going to come from. Who's his closeout guy? Free throw line. The guy shooting free throws, though, Lance Ware. He fish the shooter all day long, and you can't leave for that ball, leaves the hand of the shooter. Wow. Full body gap help by Mississippi State on those drives. Attacking the basketball with two hands with Kentucky. Tries to get into the teeth. DJ Stewart using that big body of the hidden staff. It's very important. Mm. That turnover leads to a one out. Layup no good. Let's see what happens here as Foster gets it to Mince. Floater goes. Person. And we've been watching Kentucky all year on film. Really good speed bringing that ball up by Davion Mince. But within range, down eight is Kentucky. Mississippi State's been outstanding from the floor because of this guy. Adu, one more yeah. time. That's East. Great pass, great pass, and it's a do. Six of six. Boy, the interior passing him. And he is absolutely laying the wood around. Now on the floor, that's on DJ Stewart. His season high is 11 points against defensive discipline and keep the ball out of the paint. Allen puts a do on the bench because he knows he's going to get that under four timeout, which is on time on target. Just carving up Kentucky so far. A lot of time left. Three minutes in the first half. I apologize, Jimmy. I didn't hear what the crew in the studio were saying. Was it uh, something that I should have responded to? Because I don't want to come across. Rev, it, if I was guessing, roughly 3,400 fans in. If you the top four seeds of this 2021 SEC tournament. Arcing three. That Kentucky trying to trap that basketball out of Smith. He would have no part of. It. Where kicks it and ask you deflected it. Mince able to keep it as Brooks. High Arker, no good. They've had a bunch go in. I'll say this: Mississippi State has been outstanding. As thing to indicate that with 2:30 to go. In. Again, they go in the paint. The time the shot is missed, and the second effort is put back up and in. This lead's going to grow. If you're not willing to get in the fight with your body and make it a body on body rebound war. Bad pass, and here goes Mintz. That shot is blocked at the rim and an unbelievable. Good job on Mississippi State. Avion Smith, a, what is he, a 6 1 fresh shot very well today. So many different players, including. Think out of rhythm. No, no rhyme or reason to Kentucky's offense right now. Have not found it yet. Brooks takes it right to Adu. Opposite side. Minute to go, first half. Adu just muscles his way oh, deep and he knocks in another one. Abdul Adu, <laughs> the first half of his life. Mintz forced it. And Allen and Clark play catch with it. Clark's three is too strong. Wow. Alley oop that works beautifully. Great pass and Smith with a flush. 
points from Davon Smith, the freshman out of can beat anyone in the country not named Gonzaga and Baylor right now. I really feel that. The way they're playing, their style of play, two really good teams take this court tomorrow. Terrence Clark goes to the rack and get it to go. One second to go, and they will throw it the length of the court. What a first half for Mississippi State. Both offense. Worst efficiency against an SEC opponent in the last 20 years for Kentucky. That's how poor their offense was in the first 20 minutes. Dante Allen starts the second half, and he's still going to do defensively. Mississippi State this year gave up 66 points per game. That three is good lead. Mintz tries to match, and he does. 70, 0 and 12. Yeah. Mintz is the one guy the Mississippi State has to have an early pickup point on in transition because he will rise up and fire from 23, 24 feet. Man, that's a pro move right there. Isaiah Jackson tries to go one on one and said it's Allen's three. No good. And Olivier Saar had the offensive. He and Trey Mann, you can make a strong, strong two of four on the SEC schedule. A dude turned and it ends up in the hands of Stewart. He's got six on the shot clock. A dude uses that body. No good. Offensive yeah. rebound. They had two of them. Tolu Stewart got caught up in the air. Side of the bracket. I can make an argument for either one. I, I just think Alabama in a quick turnaround and, and Arkansas is playing a beautiful break. The inside that's on the network. It streams live as well on the app. And again, join the guys to pregame, postgame, during games. Dari, the shooter, Fish, Allen needs it, knocks down a five on the shot clock. Three, two, and the shot from deep, too strong. Jackson with a rebound. Chance to cut it to single digits. Atlin, look out, he back-to-back -back threes in here. Cal Calipari was looking for perhaps his team to trap and full court press. Adu was off the court during that Allen spree. He's back on it, and the three from post, that's good. He making hard scoring cuts. Yeah, drive it to his side. Rucks right at a do, Pass. and he finds Jackson, and he's about eight feet away. A do roll, Post, who's knocked down one three, coming in it with three. He can erase mistake. Jackson gets it to ask you. Saar triple teamed. Somebody's open. It's Boston who kicks it to Allen for a three. Got it. Here so far. They get that ball reversed. Bam, bam. Let it fly. Richie Molinar with eight on the shot clock. Gets the screen from the dude. They get the switch. Saar in his face, and it doesn't matter. He knocks on that defender who initiated the contact. That was the proper call. Nightmare scenario for Jackson in Kentucky. He's got four fouls. Lead is nine. Molinar into the paint. Nope. Tough pass, and Jackson. Hold up. Clark. The alley -oop for sure. Settling down. Make sure he doesn't pick up a bad last one. Dante Allen hits seven in the double overtime win. He's got four threes and a loader of a soft touch. Local kids to play. And Allen this season, if you haven't followed Kentucky, went through a period where he wasn't getting any run. He launches again, knocks it down, done. Avion Mintz about to check in. I'm anxious to see, does he come for Allen? I'm Cal. I have in the paint, does Mississippi State have only Dante Allen not on the floor for Kentucky. I was wondering who Mintz was going to come for. Now you at some point in this game and really put pressure on the shooting the ball with so much confidence. Smith had been kept in check after they dominated the first half. Keon Brooks, not his shot. No, how about a dude just throwing wear out of the way? 
Baseline take. Brooks came over, and we're going to get a foul. On the mound that's throwing strikes and getting everybody out. I'm going to ride with him. That's Dante Allen. Allen to Brooks. He continues to spin. He got caught. They had Allen open for a second. Now he'll launch a yep. three. That's good. Dante Allen knocks down a time. There's a ball fake and a sidestep three. Kentucky has found their offense to win this ball game. Defensively, can they make sure they still stay tight around that rim and put the bigs in traffic when they get a touch? Good ball fake. Dante Allen has 23 points on six threes. You cannot leave Dante Allen if you're Mississippi straight. Sar fouled and it goes. Olivier Sar will score around the rim. He's a cinemo as an off ball runner. Three on the shot clock. Askew going to have to shoot it, and he does. Offensive rebound by Ware. Mims open three. Got it. A do to I don't in the second yeah. half, right? Yeah. 24. He and Tolu Smith have been really silent in the second half after they were the story in the first half. They've relied on threes and outside. Keon Brooks doing a good job of fighting the post right there. Kind of circling around, giving different looks. Also, it's kind of notice, Jimmy, who's who is standing on a do? Oh. It's Devin Askew, and there's another twice now, back to back, running to his left and getting on balance and rising straight up, with not floating to one side or the other off of his three point shot. Keon Brooks, hard tick, offensive foul. He Less than two minutes to go. The first meeting, a double overtime affair. Are we heading to another? Overtime, double overtime finish, really close. Molinar, oh, it's around and out. Good rebound on the baseline for Mintz. Isaiah Jackson back in. Askew will run the point. Yeah, it's two circle for Dante Allen to work side to side. Now he'll come back to this other side. Look at Allen running. Two circles to play call. Good job of Kabusini, not letting him get into his shot. Sar one on one will take it with a do on him. Left hand, oh, Olivier's year at a crucial time. Sars got 14. A do has not scored in the second half. Had another chance and it's a round and out. Two circle again. For Dante Allen, watch him go to work. He doesn't get it, he'll run to the other side. There goes 11. Sar will launch a three. That's no good. Jackson can't get it. Mississippi State with 20 seconds. Down one has the ball. It's been one and three all year. One has it. Molinar to the hole. That ball is deflected and a foul on the floor. We're going to been so good on that side of the floor right in front of that Mississippi State bench. So good going with his left and. Kentucky in case there's a miss. Kentucky has a timeout and Allen on the floor with him. Get it back to Mintz. Good play so far. It's Allen. No good. And that'll.